fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 464 pounds. Owen Hart and Brett, the Hitman Hart. The Hart This Foundation. is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced. on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Nice neck breaker. And setting up the oh, whole of hands. That's gonna hurt. That elbow will leave you dead. When Bret Hart takes that first step inward and locks you. The Hitman's proficiency and precision with the sharpshooter submission can almost be described as surgical. Just watching the Hitman applies the hole shows you why he's the excellence of execution. When Bret Hart applies his sharpshooter, that means the Hitman's focused on a break spree. But the damage might have already been done, Michael. Perhaps a power bomb here, Corey. That certainly seems to be the case. If history's shown us anything when it comes to Bret Hart, it's that an opponent doesn't want to try to match technical skill with the man called the excellence of execution. Simply dissecting the arm. Tear your hamstring. 
Corey, you brought something up earlier, and it needs to be emphasized. The superstar does not want to try and outmaneuver the hitman. Bret Hart knows where he is in the ring at all times. So if I had a match against Bret Hart, I wouldn't put things like go hold for hold or try to match grapples with him on the top of my list of things to do. In fact, I wouldn't even consider such things against the hitman. Bret Hart's known as the excellence of execution, wow. and that says it all right there. This man has an unmatched ring awareness and is smooth as silk. And whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. HPK starting to stammer a little. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. The abuse his body has gone oh, through man. in this match is a little disturbing. I don't know why he hasn't made the tag yet. It's almost like he enjoys the pain. Bret Hart's rivalries with the likes of Shawn Michaels. The hitman looks to end it. Forearms from the second rope. Driving down. This just might be enough for him to take the victory here. The situation just got real bad for Shawn Michaels. Things are looking dire for Shawn Michaels. You have to wonder how much longer he can go on like this. I think I and he escapes the submission. And good thing, that could have been disastrous. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Moves. What acrobatics. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick. Hart sizing it up. Sharpshooter. Can he finish the job? He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. And there's a vicious slam. Now it's Bret Hart on the defensive. This tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It might be time for him to recharge that battery. All he has to do is get to his corner and make the tag. This isn't his first rodeo. He had to expect to take on some offense. Executed. Perfectly. Got every ounce. Steve Austin has got the WWE Universe paying close attention here. Yeah, we all know he's a guy with great skill and endurance. And Austin, Luthes press, Luthes press. Look at him go. This might be it, guys. Bret Hart's just getting overwhelmed. Stone Cold Stunner. I'm not sure how much he has left. His shoulders are down. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. He has the ability to turn it on in a heartbeat. Before Steve Austin became the venomous Texas rattlesnake, he was known as Stunning Steve Austin, a competitor who was known primarily in the southeastern United States. Now, after Austin was fired from WCW, the frustration from that experience motivated Austin to do things on his own terms. At the 1996 King of the Ring, the era of Austin 360. Time to capitalize. How's that for ferocious? Looks like someone hit the repeat button for this move. Oh, Ooh, what a knee lift. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Hard size in. The hitman has the sharpshooter cinched in. Excellently executed. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. No, he breaks out of it. But does he have enough energy left to get back on the offensive? And Bret Hart slipped on hard way. So quick. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a singles match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Hoping to end it here! 
one. He's a long way from the three count, I can tell you that. Too early in the match to end it. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner standing on the ring apron. I should also point out that the competitor in the ring, as far as the referee is concerned, is the legal man. Only the legal man can attempt to score a fall over an opponent or be defeated by an opponent. In a tag match, when the shoulders down, digging deep for a kick out. Uh-uh. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Amazingly, neither side looking to give in here, guys. I don't think we could have asked for a more exciting match. He's just so dominant while going to the top. High risk. Oh, my. Shawn Michaels is in position. Yep, there's the reversal by Shawn Michaels. And tagged in is Steve Austin. That's a great example of teamwork right there. He's looking a little off balance. This tag team match is dangerously close to getting out of control for him. Why he's still in the match at this point is beyond me, guys. Maybe he forgot it's a tag team match. I don't know. There's got to be some explanation. Sure, he'd rather not be on the receiving end here, but let's not lose focus of the fact that he's in far better shape than his opponent right now. This has been a war. Would be the inaugural tag team champ. Steve Austin, this is going to be big. There was a lot. And Austin, Luthes press, Luthes press. Look at him go. Can he finish the job? Steve Austin, stone cold stunner. Can he end it here? He goes for the cover. And he breaks up the pinfall. Let's keep fighting. Getting his attention with a vicious strike. Uh -oh. Carefully measured. Taking it to the chest here. He's fading oh, fast. This is not where he wants to be at this point in this tag team match. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Going to the cover. Oh, and a painful stretch here. How does he keep doing Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Steve Austin is on the attack. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. He wants no part of the outside. Three. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in. Here we go. Forearms from the second rope. Driving down. To think, I almost rode him off earlier. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember, oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. Take it off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. As he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Uh oh, flying forearm smash. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Going all the way up. The showstopper wants to put an end to the show right here.
We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in Dump. He's going for the pin. I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow. Wow, what's it going to take? Red Hart getting put to the test. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. If I'm his partner, I'm furious right now. There's no reason why he shouldn't have made a tag by now. The truth is, though, he's in far better condition than his opponent, which has to account for something going forward here. He took an incredible pounding there. HBK looking to attack from the sky. Look at Shawn Michaels get HB shizzle! Shawn Michaels has fought his way all the way back into this match, and now looks like he just might win this thing. You don't perform a move like that unless you're looking to end the match. Sweet chin music! Boom! Without he could pin his opponent right here! It's over! I don't know how much more damage one person could take. I don't care how tough you are. There may be no coming back from this incredible beatdown. And Austin, Luthes press, Luthes press. Look at him go. Here's Austin's opportunity to win this thing. Second time we're seeing this here. The tag team scene here in WWE is undergoing a bit of a renaissance, and it's because of action like this. Oh, somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free Cole, but I assure you the damn stunner! Here's his moment, Michael. Stone Cold. He may get the three count right here! I think so! Three! And that's it! This one is over! Let's take another look at these guys in action. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Here are your winners. Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and the Heartbreak Kid. Steve Austin is the one to put this one away for the team. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. And that's the kind of action we've come to expect here on Raw. What an amazing match.